Hello and welcome. As promised, I have the 28 new Derwent Inktense colours to share with you today. So I ordered all um, of the pencils from directly from the Derwent website. Um, I bought the 24 as a make your own tin because it worked out cheaper. And then I bought the last four separately. Although they did send it to me in this little tin. So, hmm. But I didn't do that as a maker tin, I just did four separate pencils. So I have 28 colours, which brings the new Derwent Inktense range up to 100 colours total. I already owned the old colours, so I've got the new ones to share with you. So this is those as they look like. For those of you who are aware, this isn't new information, but for those of you who aren't really familiar with the Derwent Inktense, these are a water activated pencil, but not a watercolour pencil. These are quite unique. They are an ink. So once you activate these pencils with water, um, it is permanent. You will not be able to reactivate later to change. And it does also make them a little bit more versatile in the way that you can then um, layer other wet media on top of them. And also you do get much more vivid, brighter colours with these. So I'm going to pop those off to one side. I've already created um, us a swatch sheet chart. And I've got all the names and numbers and I have coloured them out and I'm going to activate them um, and work through them with you guys so that you can see what the colours actually look like. I'm just going to bring that down and in. And I've got a little brush and a little pot of water on my side and of course uh, just some kitchen towel to um, remove the colour from my brush and dry it off. And we're going to see what these look like. So let's get started. We'll get into it. We have 2130 Dark Mink, which is this beautiful, deep kind of purple grey toned colour. I may have to grab myself a smaller brush. Let's just see how this goes. Yeah, bear with me guys. Let's have a much smaller brush for this. Uh, let me see, what do I have with it? And as I say, I mean, you'll only get a certain amount of time to work with these. So once they are dry, they are permanent. That's better. So we have quite a nice, deep, dusky grey colour there. And we have 2107 Storm Dust. Hanging these quite far out because I want you to see the kind of colour that you can blend these off into. That's a really nice deep cool toned grey. We have 2103 Asphalt. It's a nice very deep deep grey there. Almost black. Maybe like a charcoal colour. And again, you can really drag these out into a much paler version of themselves. Still quite warm, that tone. It's really actually quite beautiful in person. Okay, 1907 Natural Brown. This is a really red chocolate brown. These are moving and lifting really nicely. Um, this is a Nina cardstock. It's the £90 uh, version, I believe. So it's not really watercolour and it will start to uh, bubble quite quickly, kind of bend and wave. I've got 1903 Burnt Umber next. And there's your 
really deep, more neutral brown colour. Absolutely beautiful. Really seem to have fleshed out their colour range really nicely. Okay, now we have 1410 Jungle Green. That is a very bright, <laughs> our one's bright, very bright green. Definitely like kind of your apple green kind of colour there. Okay, 1535 Lime Green. And there's your yellow green. Very pale. Stunning. Very bright. It's pretty fluorescent to be honest, even in person. 1340 Olivine. I think that's how you say that. I don't really know. Okay, uh, 1225, no, nope, 1240 mint leaf. You know, we're getting into our aqua colour there. Yep, one beautiful aqua to add. And then 1225 sea breeze. There's your nice deep teal. Uh, Twelve fifteen mineral blue. Twelve thirteen Malibu. Really nice, pretty pale blue there. And ten ten dark cerulean. That's nice. Really nice deep blue. Kind of a true blue there. And then 0835 Zero eight two five lapis blue. My dog's arrived. <laughs> Ignore the noises. They're quite similar, but this one's a little bit of a colder blue. This is a little bit richer. A zero eight zero five violet blue. That is a gorgeous purple. Really like that cold toned, cool toned purple for you there and a really nice rich deep colour. That is stunningly beautiful and worth having. It's good to find a nice purple. Uh, 0770 Nightshade. I'm going to have another beautiful purple here. This is more of a pinky to, uh, undertone to it. So you've got this kind of really cool tone and then this uh, 
pink undertone here absolutely beautiful so your two shades of dark purple in uh, different undertones there from there we have 0735 amethyst this is going to be your kind of more dusky pinky purple here they've added some beautiful purples to this range really pleased with those and then we go into 0715 sugar plum this is your redder end now still quite pinky purple but with that bit more red to it a little bit of depth to it and from there we have this stunning 0405 pink flamingo look at that I think he's gorgeous, very rich. Okay, I kind of had to um, flip to the side after that to get enough room. <laughs> no judgments. Uh, from there we have 0330 Persian Red. Wow. That. My camera is not giving that justice. Uh, <laughs> Bear with me. Going to uh, show you properly that colour by muting some of my light. Beautiful. Zero three one seven paprika. This one has that little bit more orange in it. Beautiful. Then we have 0313 Wild Flame, deeper ready orange there. Uh, 0255 Orange Sorbet, your kind of true orange there, really nice vivid orange. Making my pen run. And then zero two four five mango. Beautiful golden yellow there. Okay, three more to go, guys. Three more. Beautiful. There with me, I just need to get all that yellow off my brush. So, 0225 Golden Sun. Just make sure my brush runs clear, and then we have. An unusual choice, 0215 gold and I do believe if we pull that out and let it dry, that it actually has a little bit of a sheen to it we will see we'll see when that dries off and then from there zero one one zero lemon Bring you guys out and we'll take a proper look at those. Hmm. 
I've had this grubby little glass of water forever. Um, the glass that is, not the water. I'm not that disgusting. Um, just the only little water and colour glass I've ever had. Um, right. I mean, I knew the I knew the intents weren't going to disappoint. They are a beautiful medium, um, but they really have added some gorgeous colours to their range. So. I'm quite impressed with the couple of greys that they've added. These two browns are beautiful, really extended their green range. I love these aqua teal kind of colours. Um, the purple, I'm really impressed, really like these. The kind of truer purple colours and then your kind of duskier colours. This pink's fabulous, like a bubblegum pink at its brightest into a really baby coloured pink as you wash it out. And then, of course, we have this beautiful red. It's kind of a little bit of a pink to it. And then this really orangey red, um, this more kind of salmony red. And then this beautiful flame orange and this more golden yellow. A couple of yellows um, added into the collection as well. This gold, to be honest... Um, I thought from what I'd seen that it was going to be, you know, like a, a metallic -y watercolour pencil. But from what I can see, I think it is just the colour that it is a more golden yellow. Because I'm not really seeing any difference to the others. So I do believe that it's just the colour. Not disappointed um, at all with those absolutely beautiful colour additions I hope this was useful for you guys um, if you're deciding on the colours these are all available open stock so if you see one or two colours that you just really love and have to have you will be able to get all of these separately and individual um, and if you wanted like a handful they do do a a few different make your own tin sizes um anything from six um a couple of sizes in between which i can't remember up to 24 um just works out a little bit cheaper than the single open stock pencils so if you know you'd really like to try a little color range of six these kind of work out beautifully and uh, yeah i'm a uh, really pleased with those i absolutely never use my watercolor um water soluble pencils and i really do need to because uh, they are always stunning and of course with the ink tents with it being an ink you will get this kind of really nice rich color payoff so thank you for watching guys hope this helped you decide on the colors that you want and as always happy coloring happy crafting have an amazing week and i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching